Yo, today I'm gonna show you how you can make a cool text intro like this. I'm not gonna spend a crazy amount of time showing you how to do design stuff, but I'll kind of give you a brief overview of how I made it and then how you can import it into After Effects and tweak it to kind of add a little bit of customization. But uh, just getting right into it real quick, I'm just going to uh, fill this background space. Now I'm not gonna cap, like I've been using Photoshop all the time, but I'm not like the quickest in it uh, in comparison to like After Effects and Premiere and stuff. But I found this cool font the other day. Now this is just a random font that I found on Adobe's website. I'll link it in the, in the bio, but honestly, you just need to find a cool Gothic font. So if you wanna use something else or use Old English or something like that, feel free to go crazy. Um, but let's just do template. And I'm just going to really quick click on both of these and go up to the uh, or I hit control on Windows and then selected both of them and then I right click or click the center align thingy up top and we're getting somewhere so I'm just gonna say music video I'm gonna shrink this type like a ton and you know what, for these accent ones I'm gonna make them light just so it's a little bit different Photoshop, it's kind of cool how you can kind of get these little design kind of uh, recommendations in like where the placement of stuff goes just by dragging it around. So I'm not really doing any math. You could totally like math it out if you wanted, but I think this looks kind of cool. So I'm just going to duplicate that layer and I'm going to shift click it, kind of just drag it down there and make sure that it's an equal distance away. And directed by cinema fire. and yeah that looks kind of cool so I'm just gonna save this real quick and then we're gonna go into After Effects all right and now we're in After Effects I selected this little sequence from a music video I thought was really cool I'll link that in the bio so you guys can check it out because some uh, some really cool people worked on it but really quick, we're just going to grab our Photoshop file that we saved out and drag it in. Now, yours might say footage and import kind. You're going to want to make sure you select composition or composition retain layer sizes. I normally use this one and you're going to want to make sure that it's edible layer styles. Now, you can double click this and you'll see that this pretty much looks exactly like our Photoshop layer did. So we don't really need these uh, these black solids. So I'm just going to turn those off. And then from up here, I'm going to drop our text in. Now this already looks really good, but one thing that I'm kind of noticing is that as I scrub through it, the white text just doesn't, it kind of bleeds into some of the different spots a little bit. So I think one thing that we can do to fix that is over here, I'll type fill. And this is an easy way where you guys can customize your text. So now you can see that the text fill is all kind of, you know, whatever we select in this box. And I think it'd be kind of cool if we did sort of like a blood red. So I'm going to do something like this. And just like that, you see that this kind of works in some of those spots where it's flashing lights a little bit better. So I think that this is fun. And I think you could probably be done. I mean, again, you guys can go crazy and customize these as much as you want. But I'm just going to kind of mess around and see if I can come up with something a little cool. I'm going to do turbulent displace and that's like way too much so I'm going to set this to zero and hit a keyframe I just hit you on my keyboard so I could see that keyframe and now I'm gonna do like something like 10 and then once we go to the end I'll set it back so that it's at one And just like that, it's really subtle, but I think that little bit of movement kind of keeps it a little interesting. You don't want to go too crazy because you do want people to be able to read it. But you know, if we wanted to be a little crazier, let's set it to like 30 and then get rid of this keyframe and see how that looks. Yeah, that's definitely a little bit more dramatic. Um, right now I have it looping just for the sake of the video, but depending on what you're doing, you might not even need that. But yeah, I think that's like really fun, but you know, I'm not going to spend too much time on this. If you guys want me to show you a video where I do an animated uh, text intro slate, 
totally let me know and I'll do that. But I kind of want to just give you guys this. I'm going to drop this file in the uh, description so you guys can use this, do whatever you want with it. But let me know if this was helpful. I'm planning on making an animation pack. So if you guys are interested in that, just let me know. But I'm going to keep on dropping some videos. So take it easy.